Hi, are you ready to share a new What If You Had book? What If You Had Animal Ears? It's with permission from Scholastic, written by Sandra Markle, me, and illustrated by Howard McWilliam. Here we go. In the very beginning, what if one day when you woke up, the ears on your head weren't yours? What if overnight a wild animal's ears took their place? Jackrabbit. A jackrabbit's ears are extra long and full of blood vessels. They're perfect for giving off body heat, so the jackrabbit stays cool on hot days. Fact, a jackrabbit's big ears are super sound scoops. It can hear sneaky predators like coyotes or foxes in time to hop away fast. And if you had such tall ears, you would look even taller, so you could ride on roller coasters sooner. What would you do if you had such tall ears? Tasmanian Devil. A Tasmanian Devil's normally pale pink ears blush red when it's excited or upset, like when it's fighting other devils for food, or when a predator, like an owl, flies close. Fact, a Tasmanian Devil's keen hearing can detect sounds as much as a half mile away. And if you had ears like that, you would always be able to hear secrets, and everybody would know if you were upset. Eurasian Red Squirrel A Eurasian Red Squirrel's ears change with the seasons. Its ear tufts, like its fur coat, grow thicker and longer, just in time for cold weather. Eurasian ears are born, Eurasian squirrels are born with naked ears. They don't get their first fur coat at ear tufts until they're about 21 days old. And if you had Eurasian red squirrel ears, you could play in the snow without earmuffs or a hat and still have toasty warm ears. I think I might look good with those. Koala. A koala's big round ears are completely covered with fuzzy oily hair. This protects them from hot sunshine and chilly winds, plus raindrops run right off so fast their ears stay dry on the inside. Fact, scientists discovered that female koalas choose the loudest male in the area when they mate to have babies, for koalas being loud usually means strong and healthy, and obviously it means cute. If you had koala ears, you could style your ear hair then you'd be sure to turn heads and start a wild trend. Okapi. And Okapi's big ears each move separately, perfect for listening in two directions at once. So while dining on leaves in a forest, an Okapi just listens in every direction for predators like leopards. Fact, an Okapi's tongue is so long, it's able to lick its ears clean Inside and out. Don't try it. If you had okapi ears, you could easily listen in two directions at once, so no one would ever be able to sneak up and surprise you. Townsend Big Eared Bat. A Townsend Big Eared Bat's ears make tiny sounds louder. This way they hear flying moss and mosquitoes even when they can't see them, which helps with night hunting. Once close, this bat uses its wings and its tail to sweep the insect out of the air and into its mouth. Fact, while flying, a Townsend's big-eared bat makes high-pitched noises and listens for echoes. That's how it senses buildings and trees to avoid crashes. And if you had big Townsend bat ears, you'd never need insect repellent. You'd hear mosquitoes in tide to catch them or swat them away. How handy. African elephant. This is my favorite animal. An African elephant has the world's biggest ears. Each ear is as big as six feet long and four feet wide. Besides giving off body heat, they flap so an elephant can create its own cool breeze. Fact, African elephants make and hear very deep rumbles. These sounds are below what human ears can hear, but an elephant can hear another elephant as far as two miles away. 
Look at those awesome ears. If you had elephant ears, you would never need windy day to launch a kite. You could just flap your ears. Remember I said that was my favorite animal. It's in two other books. Do you remember which other, which one of you had books it's in? Great Horned Owl. A great horned owl's outer ears are just holes surrounded by feathers. The right opening is slightly higher than the left. That little difference is enough for sounds to reach one ear first, and that lets the owl home in on fast food like mice and rabbits. Fact, what look like ears are just tufts of feathers, but they may silently show feelings. Lowered when upset, raised when checking something out. Look at that owl. And if you had great horned owl ears, you'd quickly pinpoint sounds so you'd be a star at playing Marco Polo in the pool. Philippine tarsier. A Philippine tarsier's ears hear high pitched sounds, ones way too high for human ears to hear. And they can make super high-pitched squeaks, too. Just like code, tarsiers use these sounds to talk to each other without attracting hunters. Fact, a Philippine tarsier's paper-thin ears are nearly always moving. They're searching for sounds that will let them find insect meals like termites and crickets. Check that out. If you had Philippine tarsier ears, you could listen to high-pitched music played as loud as you like and no one would even notice. Serval. A serval's ears have eye spots, like markings on the back. These let serval kittens easily track and follow their mother through tall grass. And keen hearing lets them, serval, know just where to pounce to catch a mouse. Fact, a serval's inner ear lets it stay balanced to land on its feet even when it leaps as high as a standard basketball hoop to slap a bird to the ground. So they also jump high and they hear sounds well. If you had serval ears, you would be so easy to spot. You'd lead every class trip. And even if you jumped high to peek over a wall, you'd always land on your feet. You could be a leader with those kind of ears for sure. Meerkat. A meerkat's ears have muscles to seal the opening shut. That's great for keeping their ears clean while digging up food like beetle grubs or mole rats. Fact, meerkats bark different alarm calls for predators on the ground and in the air. Hearing the ground alarm sends meerkats running. The other makes them freeze so they're harder to spot from above. They're cute too. Look at that. If you had meerkat ears, your ears would stay clean even when you played in the mud. <laughs> well, wild animal ears could be fun for a while, but you don't need your ears to cool off or stir up a breeze, and you never use your ears to find your dinner or stand out in a crowd. So if you could keep wild animal ears for more than a day, which kind would be right for you? Look at your choices and more in this book. Well, luckily you don't have to choose. Your ears will always be people ears. They'll be what you need to hear music and birds chirping and people talking. Plus they'll be just what you need to hold back your hair or prop up your glasses. So people ears are right for you, but wild animal ears could be cool too. So check out the ears here and think about which one you'd like to have for maybe just a day.